Hey YouTube, welcome back to This Printed Thing. My name's Mike, and a while back I made a video about a treasure chest made by Pirate Life that you can download and 3D print yourself. Well, the owner of the Pirate Life account on Things, Ryan McAuley, actually saw my video and he reached out to me personally. Now, first of all, Ryan is a super nice guy, and no, Pirate Life is not a sponsor of this channel, but you know who is? PCB way, but more on that later. Anyway, Ryan talked to me about some of the issues that I pointed out in the video, namely the fact that things aren't really built at 95 degree angles, causing issues when you lay them down on the build plate in Bamboo Studio. And he pointed out to me that actually they are designed at 90 degree angles but Bamboo Studio seems to have a problem with turning things correctly to lay flat on the build plate. And since Bamboo Studio is a flawless product with no flaws whatsoever, I said to him, I'm not surprised. Having used Bamboo Lab printers over the last couple of years, I of course have noticed little anomalies and bugs in Bamboo Studio. And to find out there's one more bug doesn't surprise me at all. But he showed me that you can actually manually turn the parts 90 degrees and they lay flat on the build plate just fine. But that's not what this video is about. Ryan also shared with me some files to some of his other designs that are behind the membership paywall of things. And I'm going to feature those. Primarily today, I'm gonna be showing you the lock and key because we have a treasure chest, but it doesn't come with a lock. But before we get into it, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. If you don't have a 3D printer or you need something 3D printed in a way other than FDM printing, PCBWay is where you need to go. They can also help you with prototyping and fabrication of the electronics for your designs and your projects. They also provide services in injection molding and CNC machining. Go to PCBWay.com to see how they can help you with your prototyping. Prototype the smart way with PCBWay. Now back to the show. Before I show you more on the lock and key design, I want to just real quickly show you the treasure chest that I printed previously. Behold it in all its elegance and beauty. Actually, this is a very basic design, and Ryan has told me that he plans on making other module pieces that can be placed on this design so that you can have a more stylized treasure chest, which will be really cool. But I'm sure you've noticed the absence of a lock that goes on the front. Well, that's why we're here. Among the many models that you'll find on the Pirate Life account on Things is the lock and key. Now you do have to become a member in order to download this file, but Ryan shared it with me so that I can share it with you. Now when you open the 3MF file, you're presented with this message here asking you if you would like the file loaded as a single object with multiple parts. There are obviously many moving parts to this project, so I'm going to say no. I want them all to be separate parts. And let's just do an arrange here. And we have a total of five parts. Now, this part here obviously is the key. And we don't want to print that quite yet. So I'm going to put that off here to the side on another plate. And we're just going to work with these four parts for now. So you have the back of the lock, the front of the lock, the whatever this is called part of the lock, and the latch on the inside that actually causes the mechanism to lock. It's a very simple design as you can see, just four parts. Let's get it printed. Now for this project, I'm gonna be using Bamboo's PLA Basic in silver. The reason I like this particular filament is because it has a little bit of a, of a metallic shine to it, but it's not so shiny that it looks like a silk filament. So I, I think it'll work well for this project. Let's throw it on a printer and get it printing. So 
So here we have all five pieces printed out. I figured this is a small enough project. I could show you the assembly right here on my desk. So you have the back of the lock, the front of the lock, whatever this is called, and the locking mechanism. Very simple project. Basically, this goes here. Oh, and you have a nice little etching of the Pirate Life logo on the back here. This goes here. You have the locking mechanism that goes right here. So this catches right here and that clicks to the right and releases it. So when the key goes in, goes through this hole here in the front, it's going to line up with this little nubbin right here and you turn it to the right to unlock turn it to the left to lock and it'll click to unlock again it'll click very simple design but it works now this you got a hole up here or a hole sorry hole here and a hole here they line up with these two little knobs here and so there you go. Right now it's unlocked. Put in the key. Here it click. And it's locked. Here it click again. Unlocked. Locked. You get it. Of course, you're obviously going to want to put some 3D gloop or something maybe some super glue if you don't have 3D gloop around here. Make sure you're not putting it around any of the parts that have to move. So maybe this corner, maybe a little bit down here and this corner right here where my left thumb is just to make sure that you're not, you're not hitting anything with glue that needs to be able to move. But that is it. Like I said, simple design and it works. So this feels more complete. Not only do we have our treasure chest, but now we have a way to lock away our treasure. Now, as I mentioned before, Ryan plans on making modular parts that you can swap out and add a little bit more style to these things. And that includes the treasure chest itself, as well as the lock and even other things that they have posted on their things account. And I like, their stuff so much that I asked Ryan if I could have one more thing to show here on the channel and that was the Canon and Ryan was nice enough to provide me with these files so that I can show this model to you in a future video but that's all the time we have today if you enjoy content about 3d printing then please consider liking and subscribing to this channel and until next time fire up those 3d printers and make something awesome